war to an election. This news cycle stuff never stops, does nope. it? All right. Well, health care for the uninsured. It's on the mind of one presidential candidate. It's Missouri Congressman Dick Gephardt looking to move the issue to the forefront of the 2004 campaign. And Fox's chief political correspondent, Campaign Carl, we're, we're oh, calling him has that. Has it begun already? already? Uh -huh. Oh, my goodness. Cameron is live he in New it. York City with the story. Hi, Carl. I'm not so sure I love the nickname, but I love the politics of it, for sure. Hi, Bridget. This is not just Dick Gephardt who's pushing the health care issue. Poll after poll after poll shows that it is among the very top concerns of American voters. And Mr. Gephardt today is trying to sort of set the ground rules for the debate in the Democratic Party over what the proposal for health care reform ought to be. And he is pushing for universal health care effectively. It would be a proposal that would pounce, uh, pump a tremendous amount of money into state and local governments, small, large, medium-sized businesses in order to expand the number of people in America who can have health care. Right now, about 41 million people are not covered by health, and care, health, health care insurance, and that is what Dick Kephart is trying to fix. But to do it, it is a tremendously costly undertaking, and he is proposing to repeal the 2001 Bush tax cut, as well as any tax cuts that would pass this year under President Bush's economic stimulus plan. Of course, that was at $726 billion and is now down to at least $550 billion, perhaps even smaller. But that tax uh, relief has not yet even passed, but Dick Kephart is also saying that that should be repealed in order to pay for this. Uh, the speech here in New York City at the Service Employees International Union, uh, one of the nation's largest and premier health care uh, providers union uh, marks Dick Gephardt's tackling of this issue, and he did it with a broadside at George W. Bush when it comes to tax cuts and economic stimulus. Here's how he put it. George Bush's fiscal mismanagement is killing the economy right before our eyes. And the amazing thing is, he doesn't even realize it. He has no plan, no vision, no answer beyond simplistic knee-jerk tax cuts for the wealthiest among us. When you've got blinders on, like our president, you just don't see those who are left by the side of the road. Lots of hot rhetoric from Dick Gephardt aimed at George W. Bush. Again, the headline, he would repeal the Bush tax cut of 2001 and any tax cuts that pass this year in order to pay for a tremendously expensive universal health care proposal, more than $200 billion a year because the nation's budget is in deficit and there is uh, some reason to suspect that Gephardt's plan would actually increase the deficit. It is a tremendous gamble, but for Dick Gephardt, who has had some problems in the polls in Iowa and New Hampshire and across the country trailing in a field of nine, this is meant to be a bold initiative to define the debate on health care, not just against George W. Bush, but within the Democratic Party, one of the key issues, health care, for Democratic voters, indeed voters in both parties across the country. David Bridget. Okay, Carl, thank you very much.